Hi guys, it's me again, Alicia, and I hope you guys are staying cool because it is hot. Girl, it was like 120, okay? But yeah, that's expected in the desert. But anyways, I have some really cute short bobs to show you guys. I'm absolutely loving these. Um, I actually got this from PremierLaceWigs.com. I'll be sure to leave all the information down below for you guys in case you are interested. But this is their Lace Front C Part Wig. And girl, this is a quick tip. This is like where it began with me. This is how I used to cut my lace off. So I want to show you guys how I do it. I kind of fold the lace and kind of snip it a little bit so I have a little hole. And then I hold it like a little handle so that all the hair is going downwards, you know, so that I can see where the hairline is. And that's how I cut the lace. Girl, that's how, that's like, that brings me way back. So let me know how you guys cut off your lace. That's the way I used to do it when I was like a beginner. But I decided to do it now because I'm in the process of getting things together because I just moved and I don't have my mannequin head there. So yeah, that's how I'm doing it there, okay? But anyways, this is the wig that I picked out. Again, this comes from PremierLaceWigs.com. This is called their Ombre Bob. I do believe it has like a C part. As you guys can see here, it is pre-tweezed. But you're going to want to lay your parting space, okay? So if you're wearing a black stocking cap, this is essential. But if you have a nude cap, you may not have to do this. But I like to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer and just place that in the parting space. I know some of you guys are going to ask me what color I do use. I will leave everything down below for you guys, okay? Now I'm just taking my curling wand and just laying the top. This wig did have a little bit of a hump, so I will suggest you taking out that comb in the very center and then using a curling wand just to flatten it. And then a little bit of your um, foaming wrap mousse just to get away those flyaways so that it looks nice and laid and sleek, okay? But this is the way it's looking like on me. If you're interested in the color, I do believe it is a natural brown on top and it fades off into a like a number 30. Um, if you want, you can put a tint on that color in case you want a different color later on. I wouldn't recommend you guys bleaching it even more. I'm just saying, I don't want you guys to have all types of damage to your hair because that ain't cute, girl. I would just leave it like this or pick up their virgin hair and do it, but I wouldn't do it with this because I do think it's, I think this is a yakky, so it does have texture, it's not virgin. Yeah, but anyways, um, now I'm laying my baby hairs. Again, I do use my wet line gel just to lay it. I don't like the gotta be. I'm still practicing it, but girl, I love the wet line. You can get it from Walmart or I'll leave a link down below to get it from Amazon. But now I'm just taking a little more of my um, uh, eyeshadow powder because I lost my foundation powder. And this is the way it's looking like. It's looking really laid. I'm absolutely loving this color on me because you guys know I usually don't wear any color because I'm afraid I'm so vanilla. But this is actually looking really good on my complexion. So I will give it up to Premier Lace Wigs for this one. This color is bomb. This is the... Um, the way it looks all the way around. This is not an asymmetrical bob. This is kind of like 12 inches, that's it, okay? So you guys can put some waves or curls in it in case you do wanna make it look a little different. But this is the way it's looking like on me and I think it's so cute and perfect for the summer. Again, you guys, PremierLaceWigs.com. Let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.